Hello friends, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Style Garage. This channel is about the restoration of a 66 Beetle convertible named Hendrick. Uh, also, there's a 66 Mustang convertible. That's my project. This is my friend, Dale. Dale and Ron and I are working on this project together. This is Dale's car, a good friend of mine. Ron is my brother. Dale and Ron are in the stall over one working on doing some sandblasting they think i'm busy in here working on the car which i'm not i'm filming this video um so sad too bad for them uh, this episode i'm going to begin repairing some of the joints that were done by a previous owner there are a bunch of lap joints and by that i mean they've got a piece of sheet metal and instead of butting a new piece of sheet metal up against it they lap it over top and then put a weld right on the edge here, which is not the ideal way to do it. It doesn't look good. You gotta lather it with Bondo if you wanna hide it. Um, if it's not sealed up real well with the seam sealer, water can get in there, it can rust, and it's just not right. I understand whenever this was done, it might've been 1980 or something. This was not a collector's car at that point, and they were just trying to save a car and keep it on the road, and probably do it on the cheap um, and now you know this car is 60 years old and we're trying to restore it back to original and so that's what we're working on tonight I'm going to show you how I'm going about it we'll see how good I can make it I am not a professional at this um, I'm learning as I go and I've got some experience which is one of the reasons I'm sharing this because I believe that anybody with some persistence and uh, a welder can learn and try and i don't have expensive equipment um so if you haven't yet hit subscribe to the channel i would love that leave a comment below i hope you're enjoying this journey let's see how this turns out So here's the joint I'm gonna be working on tonight, right in there. Before I get started, I'm gonna quick show you the progress Ron and Dale are making. They are sandblasting. That's really loud. I think that's some shield that goes behind the engine cover to protect rain from going in through those vents. Dale was really excited about it because it was on the parts car from Hendrick and he wants to install it on his. Um, so that's what they're working on. Let's take a look at my job for tonight. All right, so here's my project for tonight. It's this joint right here, particularly out here where it gets into, I mean, this is the I don't know, the front quarter panel of the car, and uh, we can do better than that, particularly not wanting it all covered in Bondo. And then uh, eventually we need to look at this bevel, this the shape of this, to make sure that um, it matches the fender, and uh, we'll have to weld in nuts that we got, repair nuts for these that the fender attaches with. But tonight we're going to start with this seam right here and work on that. So this is a lap joint. What happened is you've got the original material up top. I've just got a couple scraps here. Um, you've got the original material and then here's the patch. And they just put it over top of each other. Um, and then weld across the top. Weld across the top this way. It leaves you with a couple problems. It leaves you with this surface or this surface being higher than this surface. So there's a step there. It also leaves you the problem where you've got a gap on the back side that water and dirt and crud and moisture and whatnot can get in there. Um, and the only way to hide that is to put a really thick layer of Bondo in there. And so what my, my plan is is to take this joint and I'm gonna cut it with a cutting disc right at the top of this weld all the way across and then 
that should in essence give me a gap between my two pieces and then I'll try to take the top piece and pull it out or take the bottom piece and push it in until the two pieces are flush and then weld that gap shut. Um, grind it smooth and hopefully when you're done there will be very little uh, evidence left that there was a joint there and a skim coat of Bondo and some paint and, uh, and it looks good again. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. All right, so as I start welding this in, uh, one of the mistakes I made before is, is uh, welding it too fast and letting this get really hot to the point where I, don't, I can't put my hand on it and touch it. And what it did is I think as the weld cooled, as the weld cooled, it shrunk. And instead of being a straight surface where, well, right where my nose is, is where the weld fills, as the weld cools, it pulls the edges down in, and now I've got a valley. So when I grind the weld down, I get a low spot. So uh, I'm realizing one of the hardest things about this for me is like, I've got this spot pretty flush right now from here to here. I really want to weld this whole thing in before I move on, but I need to let this cool thoroughly and make sure I don't get it too hot along the way. So patience, patience, young glass hopper. Here's the challenge I'm facing. I was able to pound this back in, which made this surface, I think, fairly flush. I'm trying to pound this in to stretch it inward. The other option is to pull the top out. But as I pull the top out, like if I put my screwdriver in on this and pull it forward, in order for this to come forward, this needs to go back in further. So watch as I do this. See that go back as well. Um, so you just got to be careful. Just realize that as as you move one spot, think about where it's stretching or may need to shrink in another area to get that to work. So I'm trying to stretch the bottom instead of shrink the top. The other thing, if, if I can get this to work, I could cut a relief cut in here to allow that to shrink back together but I'd like to not have to do that if I don't have to. completely sandblasting the whole body stripped the paint off and sandblasted it that was episode eight i believe and in this episode we're going to start the sheet metal repair and get to work on that on the body so i am in the driver driver side rear well you can see a great big weld here cuts down to this side comes across into this lower part of the quarter as well. Let me bring you inside the car in a moment, show you what's going on in there, and then we'll get started. So we are in the back of the car now, and you can see 
a series of patches right along here all the way to the back across the bottom of the luggage tray and then more patches up along the side there um, first of all uh, it's, it's probably strong fairly weather tight but I mean, I've done some welds like that in the past, but we are uh, looking to do better than that. So all of these patches are gonna come off. On the side, you can see, I think this is the original part of the upper wheel well. It was then cut off. You can see, you know, grinder cutting wheel marked there and another one there. And then they just slapped a patch underneath it and then butt welded or uh, lap welded it on the outside. Um, so ideally we want to butt weld the two together and blend it so you can't tell. And then we'll cut this out and take a look at what it looks like from, uh, you know, leaving the original metal and see if we can join those better. And then we have the same thing across the middle and on the passenger side as well. Um, so that's going to be our next project. We'll probably start tackling this first one. Dale's going to start removing pieces and I'm going to start working on the weld in the wheel well and you know we'll show you how it goes. I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah So this is the original piece Cuts down, overlaps with a patch on the bottom Trying to remove this piece so we can butt weld that but this isn't double thick. But I cut through the middle of the weld, which left a little bit of this attached. So I'm trying to, to grind away at one layer of it to make sure I don't get down into two. So I, I weaken the, the lower material. So I'm just trying to thin it to the point where I can break it off or pry it off. Hello, Third Stall friends. It's Wednesday night, Third Stall night again. Dale and I are working on Hendrick. Um, here's where we are on this. So we, I think last week, cut this welded joint. Sorry, you're off camera. Last week, we cut this welded joint here. This week, working on cleaning it up so that this surface is flush with that surface and then uh, starting to tack weld it in place. So I'm working my way down, trying to be as careful as I can to not thin out the material too much. And then uh, as I tack weld it, you know, just use my body hammer and, and tap the two edges until they're flush. And then I'll work on uh, stitch welding it all the way around. It's gonna be a little harder on this curve, but I'm gonna do my best to just um, be methodical and careful about it. So I'm gonna take my time with that. While I'm doing that, Dale's over here working on the inside of the luggage tray. We are debating whether to just smooth that out like he is, um, or whether to cut it all out and uh, do a better job patching it in. I think what we have there is strong, it's just kind of ugly, but it's gonna be covered up by carpet anyways. Uh, flipping over this side, here's the other edge of the joint I'm welding, um, which, We'll blend that in on this side, and if there's any gaps where my welds didn't penetrate enough, we'll we'll fill that in too. And that I think will look better 
Eventually we'll move on to these patches here, but for now, bunch of uh, welding and grinding. Um, not gonna bore you with the details and we're just gonna enjoy working and not filming and uh, we'll give you some updates along the way. All right, so the welding is done. It's not pretty, but I haven't ground it yet. Um, we did do some cleanup on the other side and it's by no means perfect. And you can see where I had to touch up a few spots that were pinholes, put a flashlight on the back side, and you can see where the light shines through. And those were basically little gaps that I had missed in the weld. So I'm gonna start now grinding this down. I think what I'm gonna do is use a gr uh, smaller diameter, already worn down grinding wheel and just slowly work my way back and forth using the smaller arc of an older grinding wheel to avoid touching the parent material on both sides of the weld. So working my way around that way and We'll see how she looks. Dale's working on the inside. We're getting the luggage tray opened up and a couple patches down on the heater channel. Making progress. And here's the finished product. Uh, this will be done later when we figure out what needs to happen to the tail end here to fix that. But uh, this is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It is nice and smooth and solid. I think a skim coat of Bondo in there and uh, that will look great. Dale and I did spend a while taking the flashlight behind it. Um, as you can see, um, it's nice and solid. There's no light shining through. So uh, feeling good about that. The inside uh, is cleaned up as well. So on to the next project.